Welcome back to another Hillbilly Story Time here with Adam Compton. Uh, we're going to be doing another Hack the Box uh, walkthrough video. Another Unix system here. This one is named Bashed. It's a fairly simple little one. If you know what you're looking for, things of that nature. With any of these, uh, it's very easy to get at a stuck uh, stopping point. As getting stuck on it. Just because you're not seeing something that's there, uh, it's usually due to either not doing enough enumeration or not uh, understanding the product or uh, you're just not thinking well that day. Uh, I don't fault anybody for getting stuck on any of these. That's why I'm going through all these just uh, honestly to refresh my own uh, abilities and my own uh, mentality and mind and memory and all that doing these but uh, I enjoy them as well and hopefully uh, other people get some enjoyment out of them as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's kick off with the standard in-map scan here. Doing verbose, doing a uh, all, all the standard checks, version uh, checks, uh, outputting this as just bashed, and going after 10, 10, 10, 68, I believe it is. We see that there's a port 80 on here. Go ahead and kick up um, Firefox. Let's go to uh, 10, 10, 10, 68. And we see it's PHP bash. Uh, if you go and look this up, Let's see here. It, what it is, is a little PHP um, script that you can run with a web browser or a web server that gives you a command execution, command script. Let's go ahead and click on one of these and see. As you can see here, it's out there on GitHub. Uh, you get a little window. You can type in some commands at the bottom. It executes it. Um, I'm betting uh, we're going to have to find a way to do that. So I'm looking through here at the different things that we have. All these look to be... Nothing really too much in there. We're going to have to find a place, something where we can do something with this, I'm willing to bet. So let's jump back out of here. That's all it found. So let's clear screen. Let's go ahead and run Go Buster on a dash URL 10, 10, 10, 68, uh, dash threads 50, just because I like to make you go fast. Word list, my word list are in pen test, uh, word list. Uh, Durbuster directory 2.3 small, I think was the one I was going with. So let's go ahead and run this. See what we got. We already got a few in there. We have images, uploads, PHP, CSS, dev, JavaScript. Let's go ahead and jump through each of these here. Scroll this. Let's get this over so I can see. So let's see what's in images. Some of the standard images that go along with it. Let's see what else we have. We have uploads. And we have nothing. All right. Uh, what else we have? PHP. Anything in there? Sendmail PHP. Doesn't do much. Might need to come back to that later. I don't know. Maybe we have to do something with Sendmail. I doubt CSS has anything, but worth a look. That's all standard rule CSS. We might want to take a look through there to see if there's anything in there that uh, is of importance. Uh, who knows? If we don't find something else easy, we'll come back to that. Next one is a dev. And right here, PHP bash. Either one of these is probably a PHP bash. And as we can see here, let's do ls. And we get output. Yep. So... This is definitely something we'll want to take a look at. Let's open up another window. Go to 10, 10, 10, 68 slash JavaScript just to be complete here. Bunch of JavaScript stuff. Might be something in there we want to take a look at as well. But for right now, I think we have enough to look at with... Uh... Let's increase the font size there a little bit with the... Uh... PHP bash here. So we can probably kill this. Nothing more going on there we need to worry about. So let's go back over here, see what we can do. Uh, ID. We're running as www -da uh, data. Let's do sudo l. What do we have? We can run script manager. Well, script manager can run anything all with no password. Well, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Let's cd slash home. Now we have 
AR Rexel and script manager. So I'm going to CD into AR. Oh, well, tab complete doesn't work. Can we uh, look at uh, tab complete again? Actually, we got user right there. That's great. Easy enough. Um, clear work? Yeah, it does. Uh, what else was in this directory? Nothing. Let's cd into script. Uh, if I can f remember to not to do tab complete. LS. LS. Anything in there? We have nothing really. So let's cd slash. Let's cd. Can we get into root? Uh, ls rt and let's look through here server bin media boot I think find out there script manager owns a directory called scripts which might come in handy um, but yeah, otherwise I'm not seeing anything that's really out of the ordinary. Obviously we can't get into root. So I cd into slash scripts or cd slash cd s-c-r-i-p-t-s. -E oh, yeah, we can't do that. ls. And we see in there there is a test.py, test.py.old, and a test.txt. Uh, but we don't have any access to them. But because we had read access to the directory, which is not execute, execute means you can CD into the directory, but read at least you can read what files uh, listings are in there. So, so let's do now sudo dash u as script manager. Uh, let's just run bash, and that let's do id. Who are we? Nope, that didn't work. Oh, up arrow works. That's good. Uh, let's do ID. So it does run it, but it exits right out. Uh, so if something is going on, maybe with a shell, something like that. Um, let's try to see if we can find a way to get a better shell than just what is in uh, through PHP uh, Bash here. So let's go back to our, go back to slash var www and I hit tab again great uh, CD to HTML because this is where we were let's see what we have in here uploads is a directory we can definitely write into everything by can and that was a directory up here that we saw earlier so uploads so CD uploads hmm. There's an index.html in here. All right, so um, we could possibly upload a file into here or create a file in here that we could view. So let's go ahead and find a little bash uh, or PHP reverse shell. Where do I have those at? Uh, copy slash pen test sec list. Is that how? Sec list. What is it? Uh, web shells. Laudanum. Whoops. Uh, PHP and PHP reverse shell. To let's just call it uh, shell. Dot PHP. That'll work good enough. Um, let's do if config dash or uh, ton zero. Where ten ten fourteen eight. So let's look at shell. Jump down here. This particular one, you need to change the IP and port in here. So let's change this to 10.10.14.8. If I can type port, yeah, 8888, that'll be fine. No worries there. All right, uh, I'll set up a simple web, sh uh, web server here to share this out. So Python dash m simple http server 
uh, port 9000. That's fine. All right, let's jump back over to here and let's do curl. Uh, what is that? Uh, HTTP comes my 10.10.14.8 slash shell.php dash o shell.php and curl not found. Uh, do you have wget? Yeah, we have wget. So wget that. Connection refused. Oh, didn't specify the port. Colon 9000. All right. So we have. It's kind of weird how it scrolls off the screen, but okay. Let's see. Can I minimize that a little bit? Oh, well. It's in there. So let's go up here. Let's go to shell.php. Uh, first, we don't need this anymore. So, Sorry about that. My network connection dropped and I had to uh, reconnect. And unfortunately, that meant that my connection uh, got a new IP. I'm now 14.3 instead of 14.8. I went ahead and changed that, re-uploaded it, got back to where we were here. So let's go ahead and do cat-lbnp. Uh, what is that? 8888. Let that be running. Jump up here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. All right, we have shell now. Uh, Don't remember if I've done this yet or not, but cd slash home, ct into a r r e x e l, and we have user so cat user dot text. All right, so there's that. So now let's uh, cd slash scripts. Can we get in there? No, we cannot. Uh, we need to. Well, can we just do sudo dash l or dash u script manager uh, bash now? ID. All right. So we need to get actual shell here. So python dash c import pty pty dot spawn slash bin slash bash. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, goodness. Oh. There we go. LS. Okay. So, CD slash scripts. Oh, wait. First of all, who are we? ID. All right. CD slash scripts. My fingers do not want to cooperate today. So, we have two files in here test.py and test.txt um what is in test.txt testing one two three four five six seven eight okay uh well, what is in this file okay it's saying uh, basically what's right there this is owned by root my guess is there's some sort of well, what is the date? 1339, 1330. So that happened just now. My guess is there's some sort of service in the background that is running that command and creating that file. Can we edit this? Yes, we can. So let's vi test.py just to test our assumption here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Let's try this again. Ooh, uh, what do we do here? Uh, Control Z. Oh, bo. What is this command? S T T Y raw dash echo. Foreground. Now V I test dot P Y. Okay, we can't do arrows, but we can do the old ones here, which is the H J K L. So let's just. Oops, that's not what I meant. Here, let's do, let's change this just to be one, two, three, bang. All right. 
Okay, let's cat test dot txt. Cat test dot txt is the full thing. Let's see here. Date is 41. That was 41. Let's wait until this steps up to 42. See if it happens every minute. Sometimes you'll come across a developer systems where they'll have stuff like this set up. Uh, it's very poor security keep in mind, but I've I have seen this where a developer will have something set up to do some sort of um, file maintenance, automatic backup, something like that, where he'll have a cron job running some script in some directory for him, and that script is not necessarily owned by root and read only for everybody else. It can be something like this. So let's see here. Has the date changed? Yes. So let's see. Uh, cat test.txt. And yes, now we can see it just says testing123. So if we change test.py, I'm willing to bet that we can get a shell that we're wanting here. So what do we want to do? Um, let's copy test.py to test.py.original. Uh, let's vi a new test.py. What do we want to put in here? Uh, one of my favorite sites is pen test monkey. Let's go out here. Let's go to reverse shell cheat sheet. Zoom in a little bit. Let's scroll down here to a good Python one. We don't need that part, but we do need that part. Let's go copy. Insert. I didn't want that. Let's go paste. Uh, we don't want it on one line. Search and replace uh, semicolons with slash r globally. Go. What did I do wrong? One comma dollar sign. Search and replace semicolons with slash r globally. There we go. Uh, okay, got to remove a a few spaces here. That looks right, I think. But uh, we now have to change this to be 10.14.3. And let's change this to be, I don't know, 9999. Okay, let's. Hi, Ashley. Let's jump back over there first. Let's create a new netcat lvnp 9999. Okay, let's jump over here. Let's try running it by hand. Did we get something over here? Yes, we did. And that would be the script manager. So, okay, that's great. So, let's go ahead and let that run again. And let's do date. Looks like we have about 20 seconds to wait here. Let's just jump over here and wait a second. This is actually running as a cron job in the background. As soon as we get a connection here, I'll uh, take a quick poke around and show you that. Not yet. How close? Are oh, it might have just happened. Yay, there we go. ID, we are root. If we cat slash root slash root dot txt there you go if we do cron tab dash l what you can see here roots cron tab is running every minute it sees the it cds into slash scripts and and actually runs every python script in there itself so that's why this is working so this was a good little exercise here let's go ahead and clean up after ourselves be the nice little happy friendly people here uh, let's remove test.py. Let's move test.py.original to test.py. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and exit out of view. Exit again. Actually, let's go back up here now. Turn back here to uploads. 
and let's go ahead and remove shell.php. There's no need for that to be around anymore. All right, we're good. So this was a fun little one here. Uh, we got to do a little directory enumeration or directory um, brute forcing there to find the slash dev directory. You got to play around with a reverse shell or a web shell. You will occasionally come across those. Um, might not be quite like this, but there's various applications out there. Jenkins comes to mind, first of all. That gives you sort of this uh, web shell capability. It gives you a scripting uh, window where you can type in any command you want in the Groovy script, and it will execute it as whoever is running um, Jenkins. And you can treat that as a web shell. You can find this in other applications, too. There used to be some in um, a Webmin and other applications like that. So they do exist out there. Once you get that, you get a shell onto the box. We had to manipulate around a little bit until we got a shell that we could run sudo as. Um, once we got that, it's just a matter of finding other possible exploits on the system until we got a nice little root shell there. So this was a fun one. I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, uh, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be updated when new ones come out, uh, please hit subscribe. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, or a request, whatever, please put it in the comments below. Thank you so much, and uh, have an amazing day.